always like the miscongeniality of sitcoms. Every pilot season would come around and I'd be the first runner up, you know, in case uh, Meredith Baxter Bernie cannot go on. You know, I don't know. I was always the, uh, you know, almost get cast and it's really what I always wanted to do. Um, I guess, I, you know, because of Barry Tyler Moore, probably. The road to It's Gary Shandling show began for Molly with a happy childhood in Darien, Connecticut, where her father, Jay Cheek, is an advertising executive. After performing in plays throughout high school and college, Molly got into the ad biz herself. She's done commercials for products that help you stay dry, relieve a headache, and reach out and touch someone. Numerous appearances in TV series and movies of the week followed, and then about two years ago, things really started coming together for Molly. She married assistant film director Richard Feld and won the role of Nancy on its Gary Shandling show. Are you okay? You don't remember anything? Uh, no, I, I don't remember anything. You don't remember your Nancy Bancroft? No. You grew up in Connecticut? You no. went to an all-girls school? No. As did I. That's where we met? You don't remember that? No. Come on, remember you made the softball team and the, I didn't because they said I threw like a girl. Don't you remember? No. Uh, no, I'm joking. That's, that's, that's what I do. Oh. That's what I do for a living. No, you're kidding. <laughs> No, I happen to have my own show, as a matter of fact. You mean people watch it? Well, no, I didn't say that exactly. I... You just can't think about how many people want to do it. You just have to block it out completely, because I mean, it's overwhelming. I'm sure if I'd known how much co competition there was, I never would have done it. I mean, I was such a scaredy cat about everything else in life, I don't know why I would pick something that was this scary to do for a job. So um, I, I just didn't know. I think being naive is the best thing. I just you just kind of go to New York and walk into a bunch of agents' offices and say, oh, "Hi, can I work?" And and somehow, you know, somebody likes you for who knows why. And it, you know, you just when people ask you, you know, well, how did you do it or how do I get an agent or something, you can't really remember how you did it. You know, it's just kind of because you're so stupid. I guess you just kind of wander around and something happens. And you get lucky here and there, and it's hard to tell. Well, and now we're going to have a fabulous tour of my uh, very deluxe and luxurious accommodations here at the uh, lot. And uh, you'll see, you'll see the kinds of uh, things that they've done, especially, you know, the star treatment is really quite something when you get it, look at it really up close and personal, and uh, here it is. These are my accommodations, yeah. And you can tell, well, I've done a little decorating myself. Uh, for instance, this... Uh, this picture of Liberace was not here when I took over the dressing room. In fact, this was Rue McClanahan's dressing room, and there were exotic screens and so forth. But I kind of tended to uh, go in this direction, the Liberace direction, the uh, Tammy Wynette, Cesar Romero direction is really uh, was my taste in the uh, dressing room style. And uh, you see all kinds of famous people, some of which I have actually met. Yes, that's true. I have met a couple of famous people in my uh, travels here around the studio. So uh, it's uh, about time for me to check out my new script. Let's go look. This week, I'm not prominently featured, but I'm just going to run through some of the highlights of my role. Uh, uh, first, we'll start with this line, which uh, I'm sure you'll recognize when you see the show. Leonard, you're not Donna Taylor. That's one. I've tried then, to do it in, uh, in steps then, uh, that I could, you know, um, deal with, in small enough steps. So I kind of figured, OK, well, I could start doing commercials, and then well, if I did well in commercials, then I could probably do television and kind of take it in chunks that were not so overwhelming. You know, if I'd guess if I'd started thinking, well, yes, I think I'll be a Broadway star this year, I would have just been so defeated. I would never have kept going, you know.